Isa mapagpalang araw po sa ating lahat at welcome po sa ating Lesson 5, The Attributes of God. Ano po ba ang definition nito? An attribute of God is whatever God has in any way revealed as being true of Himself. Some theologians prefer the word perfection to that of attribute. At sabi nga po ni Aiden Wilson Tozer, if an attribute is something true of God, it is also something that we can conceive as being true of Him. God being infinite must possess attributes about which we can know not know. In the awful abyss of the divine being may lie attributes of which we know nothing and which can have no meaning for us, just as the attributes of mercy and grace can have no personal meaning or seraphim or cherubim. These holy beings may know of these qualities in God, but be unable to feel them sympathetically for the reason that they have not sinned, and so do not call forth God's mercy and grace. So there may be, and I believe there surely are, other aspects of God's essential being, which He has not revealed even to His ransom and spirit-illuminated children. Finally, it must be concluded that there are hidden facets of God's nature wholly unknown by any created being, even angels. They are known only by Jehovah God Himself. So ngayon po, pag-aaralan natin ano ba ang 21 attributes or perfections of God. Una po sa attributes of God ay letter A, God is self-existent na makikita po natin sa Exodus 3:13 to 14. Ano po ba pag sinabing self-existent? In the passage of Exodus 3:13 to 14, God says, "I am that I am." He simply wanted to be known by his name, I am. In the divine vocabulary, there is no past or future tense. With God, there is no was or will be, but always now, the present, I am is God's name and indicates His absolute and essential being, His self-existence and eternalness. He is not dependent upon anything or anyone for His thoughts, His will, His power, and His consent. Pinapakita lang po sa attributes of God na self-existence na ang Panginoon ay independent at hindi siya nakadepende kung sino man or sa kung ano man. Letter B, God is self-sufficient. Sapat ang Panginoon sa kanyang sarili. Na makikita po natin sa Psalms 50 verse 10 to 12. This attribute is closely connected to the attribute of self-existence. Ang ibig sabihin nito na ang God has never had in eternity past, nor can, nor can ever have in the ages to come, a single need for which His own divine nature has not already provided. Pinapakita sa attributes na ito ng Panginoon ay sapat sa kanyang sarili at hindi na kailangan ng kung ano man at hindi ito um, pupunan ng kung sino man. Letter C, God is eternal. Ibig sabihin nito na ang Panginoon ay walang hanggan, walang past or future, but always and never ending present. Na makikita po natin sa Deuteronomy 33.27, Psalms 102.11-12, John 8, 56, 57, at Psalms 90, verse 2. Letter D, God is infinite. Ano po ba ang pinapakita ng attributes na ito? Pinapakita dito na ang Panginoon ay walang limitations. He is bounded only by His own nature and will. Na makikita po natin sa 1 Kings 8, 22, 23, 27, na sinasabi ni Solomon sa Panginoon na The heaven and heaven of heavens cannot contain thee, how much less this house that I have built it. At sa Jeremiah 23:24, Can any hide himself in secret places that I shall not see him? saith the Lord. Do not I feel heaven and earth? saith the Lord. Makikita sa mga verses na ito kung gaano kalimitless ang Panginoon sa paggawa or sa kanyang mga plano sa mundo. Next is letter E, God is omnipresent. The great theologian, a. H. Strong defines this attribute as follows. God, in the totality of His essence, without diffusion or expansion, multiplication or division, 
penetrates and fills the universe in all its parts. Sabihin, walang lugar kung saan hindi naaabot ang, kala, ang kaalaman at kapangyarihan ng Diyos. The omnipresence of God thus means He is present everywhere with His whole being at the same time. Nito ito ay may great danger. It is the grievous error of pantheism. Ano nga ba ito? Which says that God is everywhere and everything is God. Ngunit ito ay totally false. Meron tayong two aspects should be kept in mind as one studies the omnipresence of God. Number one, God's immanence. Tinutukoy nito ang God being in the world, acting within and through His creation. And number two, God's transcendence na tumutukoy sa God is above and beyond His creation. Sa Psalms 139, 7-12 at sa Matthew 18, verse 20. Next naman, the attribute of God is letter F, God is omnipotent or all-powerful na makikita sa Genesis 18:14 at Revelation 19:6. Ano po ba ang ibig sabihin ng attribute ng Panginoon na ito? This means God can do anything if it can be done and if it does not contradict His own nature. Meron tayong dalawang bagay na mag sa attribute na ito. Una, God cannot create a rock so heavy that He couldn't lift it because that very nature of this act would be impossible to perform. At number two, Hindi kaya ng Panginoon ang magsinungaling, magnakaw, dahil itong mga bagay na ito ay magkocontradict sa kanyang nature. Here are some areas in which God's omnipotence is clearly seen. Number one, over nature. Makikita naman natin ito sa Genesis na simula pa lang sa creation, ay makikita natin na sinepraid niya ay ang light from darkness at iba pa. Number two, over men. Sa Daniel 4, 32, number 3, over angels. Sa Psalms 103, verse 20, number 4, over Satan. Sa Job 1, 12, at Job 2, verse 6. Na makikita po natin sa kwento ni Job, na pinahintulutan ng Panginoon na ites ni Satan si Job sa kanyang loyalty at pananapalatay sa Panginoon. But not before being granted that needed specific permission from the omnipotent God Himself. Pinapakita pa rin dito na ang Panginoon ay makapangyarihan laban kay Satan. Satan has no power over any of God's children, saving as God permits him to have. Number 5, over death. Sa Hebrews 2, 14 and 15. Next na attribute ng Panginoon ay, Letter G, God is omniscient or all-knowing. God possesses, without prior discovery of facts, complete and universal knowledge of all things, past, present, and future. Na makikita po natin sa Psalms 147 verse 5, Isaiah 40, 13, 14, Hebrews 4, 13, Psalms 104, 24. At makikita rin po natin ang mga bagay-bagay na mapapatunay na ang Panginoon ay omniscient or all-knowing. Number one, He sees all things sa Proverbs 15.3 Number 2, He knows all things the big and small of His universe. Sa Psalms 147 verse 4 na pinapakita na kaya ang bilangin ng Panginoon ang mga between at kaya niyang pangalanan ng mga ito. At sa Matthew 10.29.30 Number 3, He knows mankind. Letter A, our thoughts. Sa Psalms 139 verse 2 Psalms 44, verse 21. Letter B, our words. Sa Psalms 139, verse 4. Letter C, our deeds. Sa Psalms 139, verse 2. Letter D, our sorrows. Exodus 3, 7. Letter E, our needs. Matthew 6, 32. Letter F, our devotion. Sa Genesis 18, 17 to 19. Genesis 22, 11, 14. 2 Chronicles 16, 9. Letter G, our frailties or ang ating mga kahinaan sa Psalms 103 verse 14. Letter H, our foolishness Psalms, sa Psalms 69 verse 5. Letter I, He knows His own sa John 10 14. Number 4, He knows the past, present, and future sa Acts 15 18. 
at he knows what might or could have been sa Matthew 11:23. At ayun lamang po para sa ating part 1 ng Attributes of God, letter A to letter G. Nawa may natutunan po kayo sa ating maikling discussion. Yun lamang po at maraming salamat.